Emisulpride is one of the medication that is classified as dopamine receptor antagonist. This medication is available as solution for injection and it is particularly used to treat post-operative nausea and vomiting. This medication is one of the antiemetic that is used to treat post-operative nausea and vomiting. It can be used either alone or it can be combined with other medications. So today in this video, we are going to discuss about this medication emisulpiride, how this medication works and what are the important precautions, side effects, doses, all these things we will discuss in this video. First of all, let us see how this medication works. Emisulpiride is a dopamine receptor antagonist. It can block both dopamine D2 receptors as well as dopamine D3 receptors. Dopamine can be released from the neurons by sensory stimulation. This dopamine can activate CTZ chemoreceptor trigger zone. This is an area which is responsible for receiving the signals from sensory neurons. And this zone is stimulated due to the any chemical signaling. That's why it is called chemoreceptor trigger zone. On the CTZ, different types of receptors are expressed among them d2 receptors are one category which are activated by dopamine released from the neurons now dopamine can activate these d2 receptors thereby can stimulate the signals in the ctj this can send the signals to the other center in the brain that is called vomiting center this vomiting center when it is activated it can induce emesis therefore anti emetics can work by two mechanisms they can block the signal at ctz or they can block the signals at vomiting center now emisulpiride is a dopamine receptor antagonist it mainly blocks the signaling at ctz it selectively blocks the d2 receptors thereby it can reduce dopamine mediated ctz stimulation this reduces the emesis particularly after an operation that's why emisulpiride can be used in the treatment as well as in the prevention of post-operative nausea and vomiting now let us the precautions of this medication one of the important precaution of this medication is on the qt interval this medication can produce a prolongation of the qt interval that may result in fatal cardiac arrhythmias this action is dose dependent therefore the prolongation of qt interval can be increased when this medication is used at higher doses Sometimes emisulpiride can be combined with other antiemetics. Droperidol is an antiemetic that can reduce the nausea and vomiting, and it can be combined with fentanyl in order to induce neuroleptic analgesia. However, droperidol can also increase the QT interval, therefore, it should not be combined with emisulpiride. Therefore, while using this medication, regular ECG monitoring should be done particularly in people with pre-existing arrhythmias or any cardiac conduction disorders, the risk of QT prolongation may be further increased. Few of the electrolyte abnormalities like hypokalemia, low levels of potassium and hypomagnesemia, low levels of magnesium can also increase the risk of QT prolongation. People with congestive heart failure may also have enhanced risk. Therefore, in all such people, this medication should be carefully used with frequent monitoring of ECG. Few of the medications can also increase the QT interval, particularly if you have the antiemetics like Ondan Citron can also increase the QT interval. So when Ondan Citron is combined with uh, emisulpiride, it can produce a significant prolongation of the QT interval. Many of the medications can increase the risk of QT interval, particularly class 3 antiarrhythmic agents like amiodarone, sotalol, dofetilide can also increase the QT interval. Since emisulpiride is a dopamine receptor antagonist, when it is combined with uh, levodopa, the efficacy of levodopa is going to be reduced. Levodopa is a precursor for dopamine which is used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease. But in presence of emisulpiride, the efficacy of levodopa is reduced since emisulpiride acts as a dopamine receptor antagonist. Therefore, levodopa should not be used with uh, emisulpiride. Now, let us see the side effects of this medication. Since emisulpiride is a dopamine antagonist, it can increase the prolactin levels, 
by acting on tuberous fundibular pathway normally dopamine can reduce the prolactin release since imipenem acts as an antagonist of dopamine it can increase the prolactin release so prolactin levels may be elevated in the blood with significant prolactin levels it may increase the breast tenderness and breast enlargement few other side effects like hypokalemia can be produced it can also produce procedural hypotension which is temporary and particularly when it is given by infusion it can produce infusion side pain and redness few other side effects like chills and abdominal pain can also be observed now let us see the doses of this medication emisulpride is available as an injectable solution it is available at a strength of 2.5 mg per ml so each single dose vial contains either 2 ml or 4 ml of the solution for prevention of post operative nausea and vomiting emisulpride can be used either alone or it can be combined with other anti emetics it is given as a 5 mg single iv dose at the time of anesthesia induction it can also be used for the treatment of post operative nausea and vomiting in the people who have not received this medication for prophylaxis they may be given other anti emetics for prophylaxis then emisulpride can be used for the treatment at a dose of 10 mg as a single iv dose in this way emisulpride is useful in controlling the nausea and vomiting by blocking dopamine receptors located on the ct chain so that's all about this medication emisulpride i hope this video is useful to you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video